loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new and we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Body Life Apothecary and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's talk about this week ahead, shall we? What is that you can expect as far as what's happening in the planets, as above, so below, and how it impacts you in your personal life, in your business, your relationships, and the outside external world. So our government, our business, politics, etc., etc. On my left, I have the astrological chart pulled up. And right in front of me, I have some tarot cards that I will be working with. In this case, I believe the deck that I'm working with that I'm choosing to work with that I'm gravitating towards is called the tarot of sexual magic i think i'm not sure it is an 18 and over type deck obviously you can tell by the the name of it but if you are interested if you don't have this deck and if you want to add it to your collection your tarot deck then your tarot deck collection or your oracle deck collection i will link it down below now let's go ahead and dive in i'm not gonna lie i am a little late when it comes to filming this and sharing my messages for you guys for this week. It is a Wednesday that is I'm filming and it is the 18th of November. I will say that the reason why I'm late is because I have been so immersed, you guys, in the creation of the intention oils from the recent past passing Scorpio New Moon, which was so powerful, OMG. Um, not only did I feel it in my energy and in my world and my personal world, but the intentions that I was receiving from my clients that they were um, calling into their life for me to work in for them were so powerful, they were so pure, they were so impactful. And I can tell and I can see how far the Bahati Vibe Tribe has evolved and how you guys are thriving and how far you have come over time. It is, it is something that I have not missed. I am seeing it and I want to share share with you guys that you are seen 6,000%. I did see that there were some new clients that it was that I was working with that night for the first time ever. So welcome. And it was a pleasure to be able to work with you guys. And I understand that some of you were so um, excited to be able to even reserve a bottle with me because I've been so closed to custom work for my clients for so long. Um, so that was awesome too, but also in addition to that, there was some of you guys that I'd been work, work, working with for years and I could just see in your intention, I could see in how far you've come, you know, your vibe, your energy as I was working for you, how incredible, you know, things have been for you, how transformative things have been for you. And I really wanted to take a moment to just acknowledge that first and foremost. So... Uh, yeah, like I was saying though, it is a Wednesday that it is I'm filming this, but it's better to be late than never, you know, to, to not arrive. So a few things that are standing out to me this week that I want you guys to know about is that again, the Scorpio new moon did happen on the 15th. The sun was trying, I'm sorry, the sun was sextile Jupiter and Venus was squaring Pluto at the time of the, the new moon. And one of the main messages that was coming through for me to share with you guys is the idea of authenticity and what that means is that i'm really seeing in the charts how very much so we are building for our future and this is different some of you guys are like well jess i'm always thinking ahead i'm always thinking towards my future however the way that the planets have been aligned and the way that the planets have been set up, it's that you may think that you're wanting to, to move, make moves towards your future, but how cycles of the universe work is sometimes we have to repair and replace things of the past or things that we have you know, created a foundation for ourselves. Um, we have to fix that first before we can even think ahead. And that's where frustration can really come from for people for you, for your friends, for your family, for your community, when you're thinking ahead and you want to, you know, implement, implement these new plans and usher in these new businesses because you feel like you're ready, but because of divine timing, because of the place and placement of the planets, you can get really frustrated by having to take steps back and having to resolve issues from your past that you would just like to leave behind and move forward. That's not how the planets work. So, um, you know, with this authenticity, this message of authenticity revolving around the Scorpio new moon and setting intention for things of more value, of more substance that are more personally enriching and not superficially 
you know, glossing over and making you feel like, you know, temporary happiness or temporary satisfaction, the Scorpio new moon is was was truly about setting intention for things that will add to the value of your experience here, stepping into your purpose, using and expressing your authentic voice, intimacy and deeper connection, not only with others, but also with yourself. So this week, we are still moving with that. I'm as I'm looking at this, I'm pulling the star card for us. I have the nine of wand card, nine of wands. I have the hermit card, but this card was reversed. I have the five of wands and I have the nine of cups. So it's interesting because as I'm looking at the cards, I'm reminded of the fact that Mercury, the planet of communication and contractual agreements and the mind messages, the messenger of the gods is directly opposing Uranus, the planet of erratic changes and thinking about the future, light years ahead into the future, about advancements and technology. Um, Uranus is currently retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign and it wants to ground, it wants to cement, it wants to have a firm foundation, but not something that is old, antiquated, and that you have outgrown. At the same time that we're thinking about the future, at the same time that we're thinking about you know, building longevity for your business, your, your brand, your relationship, your health, um, the Taurus, this Taurus energy really wants subs, uh, things of higher value, things of substance, things that will stand the test of time. And with that, I do see this energy this week when it comes to, I don't know why, but competition is coming through, especially with the five of wands here. So this can be you feeling the need to kind of prove yourself, prove your worth, prove your value to who, for what, and why. These are questions that are really standing out to me for you guys this week. Who are you trying to prove your value to? With Taurus energy, this is really... Um, you know, Taurus is ruled by Venus, and Venus is connected to the energy of the Empress. Venus is also moving through the sign of Libra, and then she's going to be moving into the sign of Scorpio. Um, so really what it is that I'm seeing with this, and as I'm looking at this, um, Venus is squaring off with Pluto, so she's challenging your, your, your issues of um, abundance and your values. How does it you spend your money? Who is it you're spending your time with? Meanwhile, she wants more for herself. She wants better for herself. On the 16th, Venus squares off with Jupiter. We're going to be feeling these transits throughout the entire the entirety of the week. And then on the 19th, she squares off with Saturn, challenging her feelings of self-worth worth and self-value. So as I'm saying this, as I'm looking at this, you guys, you, I'm really getting this hyper question, this hyper focus on this question of who is it that I'm really trying to prove my worth, my value to? Um, I'm also getting this idea of duplicates. I'm seeing, I, I don't know if this is people duplicating your energy or you're trying to replicate what other people have done. But again, it's bringing me back into and bringing you back into the space of authenticity. What makes you valuable and what makes you unique is usually what makes you stand out, what makes you feel different, what makes you feel strong. As I'm saying that, you guys, I don't want you to forget that the Jupiter conjunct Pluto conjunction happened last week, but we're going to be feeling this all this month and then next month. This is going to be challenging your ideas of power, your ideas of empowerment, and it's going to help you to see, to observe, and to purge the things that are stealing your power, that are making you feel weak, that are making you feel like you don't have value. What is my value? What is it that I give to this relationship? What do I want for myself? What do I give to the world? And how do I create this lasting legacy, especially with Uranus retrograde in the sign of Taurus, questioning what is my legacy? What is my value? It is almost reminding me of Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords type vibes, ten, even Ten of Wands, because it's like, all of what it is that you are giving, all of what it is that you wish to share to the world, you want it to be lasting, you want it to be impactful, and you want to be in a position where you're able to do what it is that you love and leave a lasting, lingering impression um, and have the resources and the inspiration and the energy to, to, to be able to do that, if that makes any sense. So I know that this, this reading kind of maybe seems like it's all over the place, but 
it's because the planets impact all areas of our lives, not just the one area of our lives, not just one area of our lives. So what I'm seeing here, you guys, is that again, back to what I was saying is this question of who am I really trying to impress here? Who am I really trying to prove my worth and my value to? If you, especially with the hermit card here and the sun moving initially through the sign of Scorpio, and then moving into the sign of Sagittarius shortly after, on the 21st, this is about really understanding your your power. Um, it's really about you understanding, you know, your authenticity and feeling strong in what makes you beautiful, what makes you unique, what makes your voice stand out, and standing really firm in that. That is what's going to be a part of your legacy. After the 21st, that's when you can start sharing your gifts. That's when you can start networking. That's when you can start, start, <laughs> start. that's when you can start expanding um, and connecting with resources and uh, organizations and establishments that are going to, that you can invest in so that they can invest in you. So that looks like, um, uh, universities it looks like businesses it looks like travel those types of things are going to make themselves known into your into your life also networking but for right now especially with the hermit card and especially the nine of wands and the five of wands here and and the star card sun moving to the sign of scorpio initially and the the planets kind of destroying this foundation and rebuilding this fan foundation i'm seeing you guys taking the time to really highlight and focus on your unique authentic powerful voice standing firm in that what does that look like that means that you are capturing your ideas you are building a strategic plan you are being compassionate and kind with yourself when it comes to your self-care mars is now direct in the sign of aries so there's this desire to get out to be motivated to be ambitious to the point where you can get a lot done as far as making moves, making powerful moves, feeling very ambitious and high energy, but at the same time, you can really exhaust yourself by, you know, taking this big jump and then expecting everything to catch up and to be propelled behind you. So I'm really seeing right now for this week, the star card, the hermit card, the nine of wands, sun moving through the sign of Scorpio, um, Venus squaring off with Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn, there's this energy of pulling in. So even though Mars is now direct in the sign of Aries, and that is all about, you know, being a leader, being an initiator, and taking that big, you know, that's that first step that it, uh, requires bold, courageous action in order to get big reward, I'm seeing that you, when you take that step, or when you initiate that, that, that um, you know, putting yourself out there, you want to make sure that you are feeling very that you're pulling your energy internal, that you're pulling your energy inward. That means, do you feel strong? Do you have a plan? Do you believe in yourself? Are your ideas organized? Is this really what you want? You don't want to settle for less, and then build you know, trying to put all of your energy into building something and or to building with someone or some with some something or someone who does isn't capable and isn't doesn't match your vibration you know what i mean doesn't match your energy doesn't match your ideas you want to make sure that all things on that you are attracted to that you're working with are going to equally contribute to you to your relationship to your plan to your business so that means that you're not taking first come first serve that means that when you have issues not issues but when you have things come up um your self-value your self-worth is going to step forward in your your knowing of who you are steps forward first and says okay this is something that i can work with this is someone that i want to build with this is something that works for me versus you being like, okay, this is what everybody else is doing. So let me just kind of follow in their footsteps. By all means, try and explore your options. But for the most part, with when I'm seeing this idea of authenticity, um, I feel as though if you tap into your emotional feelings, if you tap into your intuitive feelings, how your body physical, physically, emotionally, spiritually, um, mentally feels then you will have clear resounding yes or no as far as is this something that i want to build with again it goes back to the question that came 
um, forward for me for you guys at the very start of this video, which is who am I, who do I really feel like I need to prove my worth and my value to? And if that, if that answer is not something that creates, you know, is something of substance for you, or if it's not something that serves you, then you can go ahead and cross that off your list and your self-worth and your self-value will allow you to assert yourself, to ask for what it is that you want and that, and that is that you deserve, but not to engage or stay in anything longer than you need to. You're not wasting your time. You're not wasting your efforts. You know what I mean? So that's something that's coming through that I can see for you guys. Again, Venus is going to be moving into the sign of Scorpio on this on the 21st. And also the sun is going to be moving into the sign of Sagittarius. So this is going to, as you are exploring your options, as you are, um, you know, investing in certain people, certain things, I just don't see this level of compromise. I feel as though... As Venus is making these these moves, this um, energetic move, at the same time, I do get a sense of vulnerability. I do get a sense of maybe even feeling a little lost because you might have to do things on your own for yourself and it may question your self-worth, your self-value. Some of you guys might actually get triggered by this and spend... And why? Why spending? Because again, uh, Uranus is sitting in the sign of Taurus, so the market and your money can go up and down. What is important to you, what is valuable to you is constantly changing and may not make any sense to you. Your relationship dynamics might be switching up. And as Venus moves into the sign of Scorpio, it's a very intimate, tough place for her to be in. She's squaring off with Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn, questioning her self-worth, questioning as she feels a, a little... Um, as she may feel or as you may feel insecure, you may try to grip on, hold on to, control, manipulate other people or that may be happening to you. Meanwhile, you might be wanting more for yourself, bigger for yourself and spending. So there's this interesting dynamic that is that I'm seeing here where it's like, okay, what, why, why do you need this? Why do you want them? Why do you want to be here? What is your real reason for that? And it's about having this come to Jesus moment with yourself not being afraid of what comes up for you, especially with Chiron retrograde, especially with uh, uh, Pisces, I'm sorry, Neptune and Pisces retrograde, especially with Mercury moving through the sign of Scorpio, asking for these deeper, deeper questions and deeper insight and deeper messages to give you clarity into, again, you know, what makes you feel powerful? What makes you unique? Um, where are you going to make the most lasting impactful change and all throughout all of that healing being becoming progressively better at the on the 24th mercury again the planet of communication the one that i was, I was talking about earlier before is going to be trining with neptune this is a brilliant time when it comes to brainstorming when it comes to journaling when it comes to sharing um ha having a very much needed conversation with relationships friendships people that may have been faltering lately Okay, so I, I am seeing friendships and connections are have been taking a beating within this month. It is what it is. We're all working with the same energies. So there's some things that people are not sharing. Hear me when I say this. There are some things that people are not sharing. It's not that they're lying. It's not their intentional lying. They are just not ready to share. They're not ready to be that vulnerable. They feel very vulnerable. They feel very exposed. Or they may not have the right words to put in you know, they might not have the right words to, to ex actually express what is it they've been thinking and feeling and what they've been going through, or this may have everything to do with them, or it may have something to do with you. So just mark my words with that. As I'm looking at this right now, I'm seeing the Nine of Wands, this guy with the woman kind of reaching out to the man. The Nine of Wands is the card of a lot, holding on to a lot. Um, energetically, things that can overburden us, stress us out, but this person, whether it be you or someone else, may not have the right words to articulate what they're going through, how it makes them feel, asking for help. There is this inability to ask for help and this inability to share. If they were in sound mind, physical body was stronger, emotional, spiritual body was stronger, things would be different. But you have to keep in mind that the way that the planets have been lately, it's really been beating up on a lot of people. And if they are out of the woodwork, if they have, you know, six of wands, you know, have this successful moment, these breakthroughs, they still need time to gather them, their strength emotionally, mentally, spiritually, energetically 
to even show up for other people in the way that they would normally show up for others. And the same is true for you. So I'm also, as I'm saying this, I'm seeing a lot with the number nine here. We have nine, nine, nine. The Hermit card, nine of cups, nine of wands. So, and the Hermit card is ruled by the number nine for those of you guys that don't know. So there's this energy of unpacking this week and as you are unpacking, you are ultimately healing, you are coming to grips with certain things that have happened, certain things that it is that you want for yourself, certain things that and lessons that you don't want to repeat, certain patterns that you have observed that you want to do better with. Meanwhile, so many of us are exhausted, so many of us are worn out, so many of us are tired. It is what it is. So with the star card here and with the five of wands here, you guys, and with all that is happening within in the planets right now, really take time to be soft, to be compassionate, to be kind, to journal, to document, to capture, because mark my words, what is coming through this time frame, this year is going to change our lives and the trajectory of our future for legit, for for the rest for the years to come um if you do need to have a conversation with someone if you do need to reach out if you are trying to build with someone that's been disconnected from you that's been out of reach from you that's been emotionally maybe distant the 24th the days following the 24th are definitely going to be that time and what i would say and what i would do is to show up with a very soft word and just be like you know, say to them, listen, I really care about you. I hope you know that I care about you and I want to make sure that you're okay. I just feel as though your energy has been a little off and you don't have to tell me what's going on, but I just want to make sure that you know that I'm here for you and that if you want to tell me, you know, what's happening, what you're going through, I'm here to listen. So however that message applies to you guys is how it applies, but that's what it is that I'm seeing for this week ahead. And also, um, be open to those who want to come forward to you and want to reach out to you. Also, next week, I'm seeing a, a hyper shift into travel movement. I understand that the world is on lockdown for the most part because of everything that's going on with COVID. Um, but again, that's Jupiter conjunct Pluto energy still kind of manifesting itself and revealing itself. I was saying that in the Sacred Circle Tarot School Tuesday during last night's live. For those of you guys that don't know <clears throat> what the Sacred Circle Tarot School is, it's my online community that I've created to hyper focus and teach astrology, I'm sorry, tarot, esoteric symbolism and numerology to my students in a very intimate um engaging online community and online learning for visual learners. So if you <clears throat> want any more information on that, I will link it down below. But for the most part, again, I was telling them in the sacred circle, this power purge that's happening, this power cleansing, cleansing that is happening, um, not only in our intimate lives, but also what's going on in our politics and our business. So, you know, it's, it's really about, um, it's ma major powerful changes that it is, that is occurring now. And the best thing to do is to watch it, observe it, to pull our energy from it instead of being depleted by it, if that makes any sense. If you guys have any questions about this week ahead, I hope that that makes sense. Let me know down in the comments. I know that it's a lot. Sometimes what is that we talk about here? Um, it, do you want to see more videos, astrological predictions on, um, on the Bahati Vibe Tribe or on Bahati Life YouTube? Or would you like to see more pick a card readings or information? You guys, let me know down in the comments. I'm really going to be scrolling through because I want to, I'm also going through this Jupiter conjunct Pluto energy right now. And also when it comes to authenticity, I, I really want to make sure that I'm working smarter, not harder. And I want to make sure that I'm doing what's best for you guys, what helps you the most. So I'm so open to hearing what you love the most about Bahati life, what ben what you benefit from the most, what helps you the most. So let me know down in the comments. I'll be reading them all. You know, I'll definitely be reading them all and responding to them throughout the remainder of the day. So wherever you are, I hope that this message finds you well. If you like this video, if you benefited from it, or even if you don't like it, but you're still tuning in and gaining information, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It does make a difference in the YouTube um, algorithms and stuff like that. 
Um, definitely share it if you can on your social medias. Follow me on Instagram and make sure you are subscribed because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.